One thing really great about the Monarch 10 E is you can work the pre-hard 4140 steels to extreme accuracies and uh, meet uh, really tight bearing specifications if you work at it. And I work at it and I'm able to do it. And uh, this is uh, one of the things I built right here. And this is a grinding spindle. Okay. It's got a dish wheel in it, and I use this in my custom-built um, tool post grinder, and you'll be seeing that, because I can do a lot of things with that. But, uh, you know, it, you can take a look at prices of stuff. You can look at Do More. That was a great company and all that. Look at the price of their spindles. Now, they... Uh, they don't have a spindle as advanced as this. This would cost several thousand dollars. And I made it on this little old machine here. Now, the bearings in here is a pair of Barden. And uh, those are all Barden bearings, bearings that I believe are grade nine. And then at the uh, uh, Back in here, I have a Barden spherical bearing. So there's a spherical bearing here and two angular contact bearings. And uh, the shaft in there has a nut right here inside to uh, get the preload on the uh, angular contact bearings. But I made every single part on this machine here. This machine made every single part except for a nut right there, and it modified it. So, this is what you can make. You know, you can make anything you want. You know, if you want to make stuff, you can buy in a pawn shop like this. But I think it's more important to uh, make things like this that are uh, useful. And this has been very, very useful on that um, grinding. But uh, I'm going to be making some more of these because I want to make a more compact uh, grinding system. So uh, I'll be scouting up some bearings and stuff like that and uh, using the pre-hard steel. Now, the bearing specs for... Uh, like board and grade nine bearings is a maximum error of two ten thousandths of an inch on the housing shaft and, and that stuff. So you gotta really, really be tight with stuff and approach it, you know. And um, I've showed you the measuring instruments. Maybe we should revisit those on how you measure sh <clears throat> shafts to a ten thousandths of an inch. You use dial indicating snap gauges. And uh, the 10 E over there is uh, accurate enough where you can use uh, dial uh, bore gauges. See these read in tenths. And uh, I will... Uh, do uh, a video for this channel on setting these things, okay? And uh, dispel some of the myths that uh, get started on those ridiculous forums. So, you know, like myths about jig boards and things like that. This machine here is essential. You can't just have the Monarch 10 AA unless you just, I don't know, working on quite small things. But if you're working on larger things, you really need this machine here to block it out. I mean, your part. If you got a, a lot of metal to remove, you want to do it on this machine, get most of the metal removed, then take the piece over here and put it on this machine. It's, it just saves wear and tear, you know. This, this machine here, it, it's like a micrometer, you know. The other machine over here is just a friendly old uh, pickup truck, really. It's kind of how that is. So, 
when you're working on this machine, there, <laughs> I was uh, talking to Rob, and I don't know, people don't really talk about it a lot. <clears throat> the, the real ha a real handy call-it system is these 5C. But the problem is parts woggle in them. When it comes down to it, you're going to get some woggle. Now, on this Monarch here, the best chuck is a four-jaw, as small as possible. Four-jaw chuck is the best thing, uh, most rigid. You'll get the least deflection from the work holding device, unless you feel like uh, uh, making a shrink chuck, you know, right on a back plate, which would be a chuck that has a hole in it and you press your uh, part into it. Instead of having it adjustable, you just have this thing you press your part into, which can be a important thing working with some materials if uh, you're trying to avoid stress risers. But you probably won't run into a whole lot of that. So this is what I use this machine for here is this, this type of thing. And uh, most, gen uh, most general everything is going to be done on that old Axelson. Now, I had another one of these, an older one, that took the brunt of the punishment. But uh, I found uh, I'm a little better off with the gearhead laid over there for roughing stuff out, you know, doing the general uh, um, metal removal. So, and that's the same with the jig board. You'll want to rough the part out. You don't want to stick a big block of steel in the jig bore. You want to rough it out on drills and mills. Leave about a 64th of an inch, you know, here in, um, on the places where you, it needs to be precision, and then finish it on the jig bore and the Monarch 10 E. And uh, it, these machines and the 10 E is a A machine for the artist. Okay.